Hey guys, it's Jamie Stone from HonestlyJamie.com and YouTube, it's Jamie Stone. I have another hacks video for you today. The other one was really fun to make, so I decided to make one for my favorite hair hacks. Uh, these are six of my favorite and I'm excited to show you. Let's jump right in. Hack number one. So I have very fine hair. If you watch my videos, you probably have heard me talk about that. Um, one trick that I sometimes do, especially when the roots are a little growing out, is I will take a, an eyeshadow palette and I'll find a similar color like you know, golden blonde or like a lighter brown and I'll actually just take that and I'll put it in my roots, just kind of paint it on like paint, and it actually makes your hair look thicker. Hack number two. Use dry shampoo. Now you might be thinking, okay, that's not even a hack. I already use dry shampoo. Well, the way that I use dry shampoo is I actually put it in at night before I go to sleep. And that way when you're sleeping, it actually is working to kind of soak up all of that oil and any kind of grease that you might have at the root of your hair. So let's say you get eight hours of sleep, it's working the entire time. And then when you wake up, you have much more refreshed hair. Sometimes you can even get away with not even showering and like washing your hair in the morning if it kind of did the job. Um, it's sort of trial and error. You have to try a bunch of different dry shampoos to see kind of what works with you. But I definitely do this all the time to avoid washing my hair in the morning. Hack number three. So I remember when I lived on the East Coast, I'm from New York originally, frizzy hair was something that I had to deal with every single day. It's really frustrating and annoying. It's definitely better since I moved to California because we don't have any humidity in the air, so it's, it's always a good hair day here. But one trick I learned back when I was in New York is if you are having a really frizzy hair day and you don't have any frizz serum or cream, you can actually use your favorite hand cream. I used to keep this at my desk when I worked uh, in an office, so I would just have this ready. You only wanna use a very small amount because if you use too much, obviously your hair is gonna be super greasy. Uh, but you put a little bit in your hand and then start in the back and just kind of like test it out. Go like this maybe, test the sides. It does work, I just say use it sparingly or your hair will look really gross and greasy. Hack number four. Like I said before, I do have fine hair, but even if you don't have fine hair, you can actually get sunburned on your part in your scalp line. I remember when I was in high school, I went to this outdoor concert and I had my hair back in a ponytail and I had bangs at the time, which was horrendous and a bad decision, but it happened. And the part line between my bangs and my hairline got completely burned. I ended up getting sun poisoning. It blistered. It was a huge, disgusting mess. So one thing since then that I've been doing, literally since high school, is I always find a powder foundation that has sunscreen or even a powder sunscreen, which is kind of, you know, more common these days. And I dab that in my part. It is the easiest way to protect your part from getting sunburned, uh, you know, and it also actually adds a little bit of volume to your hair too. So that is one of my favorite hacks actually of all time. Hack number five, another frizz hack because let's be honest, frizz is probably one of the biggest complaints that people have about their hair, right? So what I do sometimes is if I get really frizzy like around my bang area especially, I take an old toothbrush, well not, not like used or anything, but one that you don't use on your teeth, and a little bit of hairspray and you just spray it and then you can use the toothbrush to kind of fine tune all of the little flyaways and frizz that you have. This is an old makeup artist trick but it really works and I definitely recommend it especially if you have like little baby hairs that like annoy you around your face. And my last hack, hack number six, is a super fun one. Uh, definitely do it on a party night. Basically, you can use vodka to make your hair just a little bit shinier. Now, the way that you do this is you wanna wash your hair and then when you're in the shower and your hair is wet, you take just a shot glass full of vodka and kind of like work it into your hair and then condition it out. Do not do this every week, do not do this every day because the vodka obviously is alcohol and it will dry your hair out. But once in a while, it definitely adds like a nice little burst of shine. I do it maybe once a month. Well, thank you so much for watching. Those are my six hair hacks that I absolutely love and do all the time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for a new video every Thursday and like this video. Also, if you have any other videos you'd like me to make, please comment below and I hope to see you soon. Bye guys.